Hi, welcome once again to our weekly webinar. This is Cliff and Heather with the Oil Junkies. Um, going to show off the shirt as I always do. I like to do that OJ for Oil Junkies. And we want to welcome everyone. I am not going to forget to record the first time around. I don't want to have to do this again. Although that was a lot of fun last time. Okay, um, <laughs> to start off, and there's Heather. Heather's Hi. joined me. Uh, just to start off, with I want to uh, highlight a couple of products some things that I think are really beneficial you may have tried these you may not have if you haven't tried them I highly recommend that you give them a try so um, take a look at uh, these products and if you enjoy them great and if you've never tried them consider trying them so I'm getting out the box this one's still in the box oh yes and I knew what it was anyway, but you probably do too. Are you ready for the reveal? Does everybody want to know what it is, what it was in the box? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. There it is. MindWise. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. This is brand new, as you can tell. It's not even been opened. Um, MindWise is fantastic, and I'm just going to read to you what it says on here, the directions. For optimal effect, adults should follow initial dose schedule for 7 to 10 days, followed by maintenance schedule. Children 4 to 12 years old should follow children's schedule. Should be taken with a meal. Shake well before each use. Consume within 30 days of opening. Adult initial dose. Take 2 tablespoons, which is 6 teaspoons, once daily for the first 7 to 10 days. Adult maintenance dose is take 1 tablespoon, 3 teaspoons, once daily or as needed. Children take one to two teaspoons once daily. So uh, you are supposed to refrigerate this after opening it. <clears throat> but basically this is a dietary supplement, a rare brain health supporting serum with uh, Sacha and Chi nut oil, Alcar, and bioidentical CoQ10. So uh, this is a fantastic mind-wise helping your brain to a function a functioning and, and um, and healthy brain to continue to maintain its healthy levels and um, to be able to think through processes properly and uh, just give that added benefit to your to your brain and your brain health as is needed so this I just think this is a great product um, you can drink it with Ningxia Red you can drink it with Ningxia Zing you can have it all by itself uh, any of those um, options are open and available. You can add oils to it. So the Vitality line oils, such as I talked about tangerine in the last um, webinar, or lime or lemon or grapefruit, which are all wonderful um, citrus Vitality oils that you could use. Or you could use cinnamon bark if you want to add a little bit of a kick to it. Um, I actually love Ningxia Red with a little a drop of cinnamon bark and a drop of tangerine. That's really good. And trying to think what else might be kind of tasty, but there's so many different combinations. I mean, just whatever your body is in need of uh, from the Vitality line, you can drop a, you can put a drop or two of that oil in with your MindWise, and drink it as well with Ningxia Red, Ningxia Zing, whatever, um, whatever you, you decide to to do for your health that way. The other product that I really just kind of wanted to bring up is one that is one of my absolute favorites. I think it probably is something that a lot of us enjoy using. It happens to be a roll-on, so you can kind of take a guess as to which one you think it might be, because there's only a few roll-ons that are out there. Granted, you can turn almost any oil um, bottle into a roll-on bottle with just the uh, rollerball fitments. And if you don't know about that, or if you want to learn more, just let us know. Email us, call us, uh, text us. Uh, what have you, pegscott22 at gmail.com is the email. If you just want to email us, we'd be happy to give you more information. But this one is sold as an actual roll-on. There are a few out there that are sold as roll-ons. And it's this oil, Breathe Again, right in front of my eyes. So Breathe Again, I should put it down here by my nose. I love this particular oil. And I love taking it on campouts, especially because uh, you get out there in the um, in the I call it the woods, or if you get up in the mountains, as they say here in Utah, uh, but you're out camping and you're around the trees and you're around maybe some colder temperatures, uh, the higher elevations, um, the year around the campfire, et cetera, et cetera. So when it comes nighttime, you might want a little bit of this breathe again, just to rub on your um, upper chest or around your neck, 
um, or you can rub it even behind your ears if you want to. And I also do recommend that you have some V6 oil or some sort of a really high quality vegetable oil. Extra virgin olive oil is a perfect uh, substitution or solution. And you can add that in because this might have a little bit of a, of a kick to it for your skin when your skin is concerned. So be a little bit careful when using this, um, especially if you have very sensitive skin. And just make sure that you always have, it's always a good idea to have vegetable oil or some V6 oil nearby just in case. But I'm gonna smell this right now. Oh man, that smells so good. I wish I'll, I'm gonna put it right up here, see? Smell it, everybody smell it. If you haven't smelled Breathe Again before, you should go get some. You're gonna love this. I think he has a great smell. What do you think, Heather? Mm -hmm. You like it? That smells really good. It does smell really good. And I think we forget about it because Breathe Again, it's it's put in, we're so used to just buying the, the oils as far as a five milliliter bottle or 15 milliliter bottle of oil and just using the oil that way. We forget sometimes that Young Living has these fantastic uh, already made roll-ons. And these are not only great for us, but also fantastic to use as possible promotional uh, products or giveaway products. You can hand this out to a friend or family member who's uh, thinking about or talk, you're talking about using the oils with them. You can even take this, and this is a great thing, you can open it up, take the top, top off, have them hold out their hand, and then you can just roll some, look at me, just rolling some on, the, on my hand. And now I've got a nice little shine right there on my hand. And I'm gonna rub this, rub my hands together and watch this. I'm just gonna cup them over my face, over my nose and mouth. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that. Do you wanna try it? You wanna try it? Let me see your hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some on your hand. Like I'm gonna put some on Heather's hand. Here's Heather's hand. I'm rubbing some on. She wants me to tell you what's in it. I'm gonna tell you what's in it. It's all good stuff. That's what's in it. Um, because I'm not exactly sure. This has eucalyptus, uh, globulus. Oh, I'm not sure if my eyes can read all this. Uh, rose hip seed oil, peppermint, eucalyptus radiata, um, balsam copaiba, blue cypress, and myrtle oil. So a lot of eucalyptus, and that's probably why it smells so good um, and why it helps you to breathe again. And the but, peppermint. And the peppermint, yep. But you got, I thought it had cinnamon in it, but it doesn't look like it has cinnamon. I wonder if it's the blue cypress. So again, there's something that's in there, and it could be the, because the, I've never had an issue with eucalyptus. But anyway, I just always recommend that you have a little bit of vegetable oil or V6 oil by your side just in case. And I do know that that can be a sensitive oil for some people, especially when they're putting it on uh, like their neck area or their chest or even behind their ears, which I recommend it. I put it, you can put it on your wrist too, or again in your hands and just breathe it in. So any of those things are, are fantastic. Okay, so that's the product that we've talked about. The next thing that we really wanted to talk about, and we mentioned this in the last webinar, but that's convention. So please, please, please come to convention if you're able to. Now, you're going to have to pay the full price for registration, but it's still worth it if you're able to make it out here um, to, to see all the classes, all the workshops that they're going to make available. It's gonna be a huge convention. There's gonna be a lot of people, which means that Young Living's going to offer a whole lot of classes and a lot of things to learn about. We're still, um, we're still finding individuals that are saying that they might come, and so, we're just encouraging everyone in the organization, and even if you're listening to this webinar and you're not part of our organization, come to convention. It, you will not be disappointed, I promise you that. You will enjoy yourself, you'll have a great time, you'll learn a ton of information, and if you are able to you know, email me or look me up or um, text me or call me, I'd be happy to go through some more information with you as well if you have questions or or um, things that you need answered that you haven't been able to find an answer anywhere else. And if I don't know the answer, I'll certainly try to find the answer for you. But um, I just wanted to, I'm gonna quickly share our screen here and I'm gonna go to this right here, share the screen. This is gonna be where Heather and I are. Um, well, 
at least where I am, I think, for Thursday, June 15th. So if you're wondering what the dates are for convention, they are, you can, a, a lot of people are going to fly in on probably the 14th, which is a Wednesday, but it's Wednesday the 14th, Thursday the 15th, Friday the 16th, Saturday the 17th. So it's kind of 14th through the 17th or 15th through the 17th if you're not going to come on Wednesday. A lot of people like to come a day ahead just so they can um, kind of rest from the flight and be here and, and be ready for the next day. Get their rest, though, and uh, be revived and ready to go on Thursday morning early. So uh, this is going to include, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I have, I think, yeah, this should be my schedule, workshops, yeah. So from 7 to 9 a.m. is the International Revolution, and this is going to be uh, D. Gary Young giving that. And I think this one's pretty much open to a lot of people, not just, you know, a specific little workshop. But then we have new do-it-yourself kit demo uh, that's going to be a class from 10 to 1045. And then we've got building international business from 11 o'clock to 1145. And we've got in essential oil chemistry from 12 to 12.45. So you can see that these classes are not very long. The first one was, but I think that's the really big, it's the general session, yeah, from seven to nine. But then they start doing these breakout work, workshop sessions and you can see they're 45 minutes a piece. So they're not very long. And they tell you who the, who the speaker is going to be. And then it goes until about five o'clock. And then at five o'clock, You've got, uh, or after five o'clock, that's when you go and have your dinner. And they might, I think they do have some events in the evening, not workshops, but just other things going on. Like they're going to have, um, is it Carrie Underwood that's coming? No, it's not till Saturday night, but I mean, they have different things. Certainly they will have the expo at, at some point or another, and you can walk through the expo. There's always lots of great things to see there. If you're interested in donating to the D. Gary Young Foundation, you can go to the expo and they usually have things that you can purchase and the money goes to the foundation. Uh, or you could just go in there and probably make a donation if you wanted to and not purchase anything. Uh, they'll have uh, products available in the expo that you can taste test if it's something that, that, is, that you can ingest or that you can try such as um, uh, facial products or things you can put on your hands, oils, etc. They'll even have usually something that um, displays the farms that Young Living has. So they'll have a display like that. I mean, there's all sorts of great things that you can see in the expo. And the thing is, is the expo is nice because you can go in, see what you want to see, walk out. When you have time again, go back in. It's just a come and go kind of um, room not to make that sound like Harry, a Harry Potter movie or anything but uh, kind of <laughs> it's a come and go room where you can go in and into it or, or go out of it whenever you want uh, as long as it's open and you can just sort of check out things uh, on your leisure and on your time and so five o'clock again that's when that's going to end um, with the classes on Thursday night and then you've got Friday 9 a.m. to 9 45 three easy steps to silver and then 10 to 10.45, Conscious Language and Business. 11, 11.45, A New Form of Skin Perfection. 1.15 to 2 o'clock, The Power of Authentic Connections. Uh, then we've got 2.15 to 3 o'clock, Importance of Team Building. 3.15 to 4 o'clock, 21 Days to Silver. So again, ends at 4 o'clock. Go to the expo. Um, you can go buy products. It's, you know, whatever you want to do after 4 o'clock. Go have dinner. Go spend some time with your organization, et cetera. Saturday, 9 to 9.45, break up with the upsell, maximize essential rewards on your team. 10 a.m. to 10.45, Young Living for Body Systems. Then 11, 11.45, regener Regenerative Medicine and Kula Zool, as told by Gary's Pain Doctor. And then 1.15 to 2 o'clock, Downline Leadership Principles. So lots of great stuff that um, we're signed up for. And you may not be able to get all of the same schedule. It looks like some of these are closed. The ones that have the little um, the security lock, they've already closed. It may, that may be the only one. So that's the only one. So there's still space for a lot of these classes. So go and sign up and, and get registered to attend some of these workshop classes. But there's so much more to choose from. I mean, there's so much to choose from that you don't even hardly know what might be good. You just have to start picking what you think you would be interested in and what would benefit you. So these are the different classes that um, we wanted to go to. 
and that's where we're going to be. And you're, if, if there's availability, which it looks like there is still a lot of availability there, then you can go sign up for the exact same ones at the exact same time, and we'll see you there. Okay. Is that it for the schedule? I think that's it for the schedule. So let me just stop the share. So now you know where we're going to be on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh, the 15th, 16th, and 17th of June. That's where we're going to be. And um, there is a farm day that you can, or a, you can choose a day to go to the farm, and that's an all-day event. You don't just go for a half an hour, an hour, and, and go back. You go for the whole day. So Heather and I did not sign up for that simply because we live so close to the farm and we're able to go down to the farm uh, on our own. Not We don't have to do it as part of convention. However, we would like to know any of those who are going to be at the farm. If you want to email us at pegscott22 at gmail.com and just let us know when you're going to be at the farm. We'd love to try to show up at some point and we'll just drive down, park somewhere, maybe even on the street if we have to, and then uh, visit with you there at the farm really quickly, and then we, we can spend a few minutes together, and then we can leave. Or, um, I don't know, maybe you don't want us to be down on the farm with you, but we'd love to meet up with anybody that's going to be there. On It doesn't matter if it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We really don't care. We'll be happy to go any of those days because we live close enough that we could make that trip down there each of those days if we had to. But uh, we, we do hope to run into to, uh, some of you all down there at the farm. We're just not going to sign up officially for a farm day. And we probably would go and, and visit with you and spend some time with you, but then we would leave and go ahead and head back up to the convention um, where we would go to our different classes that we're signed up for. But we would meet you early in the morning because I usually bus everybody down at a really early time in the morning. And then you just spend all day at the farm and it's fantastic. Um, great place to be. And you're gonna learn so much and you're gonna love seeing uh, the distillation process, which Young Living's the only one who has that as a seed to seal process and the distillation. And then you're gonna be able to um, venture out and just see the beauty of the farm and all that's available and all that Young Living has created down there and at, at the farm there in Mona, Utah. Um, I think, that might be it. I mean, we've, we've, uh, we kind of just wanted to make it short and sweet tonight. We didn't have a whole lot more to, to add after last week's webinar. Um, we really appreciate that uh, everybody's been working so hard this month. Today, I did want to mention, today is the last day of March. It's the 31st. So if you haven't placed your order, go place it. If you have some members that haven't placed an order in a while, encourage them to get online and place an order so that they don't get uh, they don't go inactive. We do not want anyone to go inactive. We want them to stay active with their account. If there are some of those members who are contemplating uh, the Essential Rewards Authorship Program, talk to them about signing up for the program. They can go ahead and sign up now, and then what they'd have to do is just click on the button that says to process their order right now, like today, and their auto ship, their Essential Rewards Auto Ship would process tonight, and they would be able to to have that for tonight and it would ship out probably in the next few days but um, and they would earn rewards points off of that too which they can then redeem for free product but that is something that they can do tonight they just have to click on the little button that says to automatically process the order like right now and otherwise they'd have to pick a date and the date they pick is not going to process the order until next so or they maybe I think they can actually pick a date for next month the way that it works is they can pick a date for next month. So say they want their order to process on the 20th next month, they can pick that date, but then they can pro they can press the button to process it right now so that it goes out tonight, March 31st, and then their next order will process on April 20th. So that's, that's really the best option, I think, is they pick like the 20th of April, but then they can press the, you know, click here now for processing the order right away. And that'll mean that they'll get a, Mar a March order on March 31st. So today, last day of the month, just get out there, talk to anyone that you've kind of been working with. If there's a new sign up that you are thinking about or working with, go ahead and get them on board March 31st, last day of the month. Try to talk to them about signing up uh, tonight. You have until midnight mountain time. So what time is it right now? It's uh, 6.23, so you have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, five and a half hours. 
You have five and a half hours to still place your own order, help, uh, help a, a member in your organization to place an order, get a new sign up in, it, whatever it is that you're in the midst of doing, um, go ahead and go do it right now, March 31st. Don't, don't delay. Go and get it taken care of. And I want to say that April, is it April 30th that's also a Friday? I can't remember. We're going to look it up really fast. Heather's checking out the calendar real quick. Um, April 30th is a Sunday. April 30th is a Sunday. So never mind that. I was thinking that April 30th was also a Friday um, and something to consider that the end of April was going to be that. But the 30th of April is a Sunday. So never mind um, that. We'll have to make sure that everybody is hopefully um, well taken care of by the 28th, which would be the last Friday in April or the 29th. And, and of course, there is the 30th. But um, I think everybody is is usually pretty much done with um, placing their orders and getting things taken care of by that Friday or Saturday at the end of, of each month. So anyway, if, you, if there are any questions, comments, questions, questions, comments, uh, uh, feedback of any kind, email us, call us, text us. We'd be happy to talk with you and, and, uh, and take down whatever... Um, questions you might have and get an answer for you as well as your feedback. All right. Have a great week and we'll talk to you next time. Um, discover something extraordinary. Always our fabulous saying with oil junkies and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you later. Bye.